Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, we discuss all things related to financial services, their products, the compensation plans, the IMOs. We compare the IMOs, and we always present third-party documentation. I believe third-party documentation beats any conversation, and it also balances my opinions along with my rhetoric. So we back that up with third-party documentation so you can decide what's best for you. We are continuing this week on success habits that work. We're on video number three, manage your activity, not your results. Maybe you just stumbled across this video, ask yourself, are you passionately committed to learning the habits of the most successful people in the world and the most successful agents in our industry that are applying these principles. If you are, I recommend you go back to video number one. I'll try to put it up here on one of these little cards that pop out so you can easily locate it, or the playlist will be located up in that area as well. Click on the playlist, go back and watch the first three videos. Even though this is video number three, Video number two was such a large concept, a large principle, we split it in two videos. So there's three videos that you've missed so far. I encourage you to really take advantage of this program and learn from it and grow through it. Don't just go through it, but grow through it. And in order for you to do that, you've got to go through the entire video. Many of you check out, I look at the analytics and the average is about eight to nine minutes. And some of these videos are 15, 20 minutes long, which means unless you're coming back to the video later, which is fine, but if you're not coming back, you're missing the lion's share of the information. It really cuts your ability to implement the success principles on these videos and learn from it. Look, it's my opinion, there's nothing on TV, no football, no uh, negative news, all that stuff is gonna impact your life like learning to grow yourself. There are three other videos that preceded this one, so go back and find those videos and start from ground zero. Opt in, get the handouts, and really take advantage. Look, there's nothing on the TV, there's no football game, there's no news program that's gonna impact your life like growing yourself. So just don't go through the program, grow through the program. We got great things planned for 2019, both for training and through growing yourself as an individual, because I believe that's the first step. You gotta grow yourself so you can take advantage, full advantage of the opportunity that lies ahead in mortgage section and final expense for 2019. So if you haven't already done so, if you're brand new, mash the uh, bell down below, which is right next to the subscribe button. So subscribe hit the bell, you'll get instant notifications when these videos are released. Uh, do me a favor and like the video, give me a thumbs up if you're getting something out of the content. And as always, comment. My contact information is also in the description. You can reach out to me by calling me, by emailing me, or by texting me at any time. So this week, this video is on success principle number three. Uh, we're gonna continue through the whole training module of success habits that work and uh, stop. Thank you again for investing, stop. Thank you again for investing your time into you. You can never go wrong investing in yourself, stop. You can never go wrong in investing in yourself first. And this, I believe, is a huge step. As I've said in other videos, I believe it's critical to your long-term success in mortgage session and final expense or any other business. In this, and I'm so, stop, I'm so excited about this module. In this video, we're going to be covering success principle number three, which is manage your activity, not your result. I have to admit the last success principle, it was a lot of content to try to put into one video. And I felt like I was gonna lose many of you because it was like a 30, 35 minute video. So I split it in two. I made that decision to go ahead and split that in two, make it a part one and a part two. It was an epic fail. <laughs> Most of you didn't follow me to part two. You kind of gave up on part one. You got busy and forgot to come back to part number two. I promise you I'm not gonna do that again. I just wanna make sure that you're getting 100% of the information out of this program so you can take full advantage of this life-changing topic. Please go back and make sure that you grab the second video, part two of success principle number two and get the handouts. So if I haven't already said it enough times, there's nothing I believe on TV more important than growing ourselves. That I promise you. Make you a priority. This could be for many of you your last chance to really do something with your life. Right. In this video, we begin our 21-day 
habit formation and success principle number three. We're going to start that 21 day habit formation. I love refreshing my memory with the principles laid out in this part of the course shared by the author and I'm excited to share it with you. Please pause this video and take a screenshot of that principle and post it everywhere your eyes fall. I'm a big believer of this. I have post-it notes in my bathroom. I had them in my refrigerator, on my refrigerator, on my speedometer, in my car, everywhere so that every day I wake up I remind myself and keep myself centered and balanced, understanding what my dreams are and the key principles that I need to hold dear to me. And stop. And the key principles that I hold dear in my stop. And the and the key principles that I know I need to hold dear to me in order to get myself to stop. It doesn't work. Go back and check the, take the please part out. So do me a favor as we get started. Please pause this video, take a screenshot of this principle, and post it everywhere your eyes fall. On the dash of your car, in your mirror, in your refrigerator, in the bathroom where you brush your teeth, even where you use the commode, I don't care. Wherever your eyes land so you can see it several times throughout the course of the day so that, so that you begin each day with that understanding and clear focus of the success principles and affirmations that are going to take you where you want to go in your life and grow yourself through 2019. First, we had to revisit or understand, if you haven't been in sales before, what the sales reality curve is. It goes something like this, and maybe you have experienced before. Thumbs up, you get started, you just know you're going to be a top producer in your IMO, your agency, and then you're down. You do your first five presentations and no one buys your product. Next, you're up again, you go to a training and you hear about lives being changed and the money uh, people are earning, and so you are motivated to now make this business work. And then next, you're down again. You call a friend up and they say, hey Steve, you mean to tell me you think you really you can sell that crap? Hey man, get a real job. That's what a security is. It's in a job and getting a weekly paycheck. And then you're back up again. You made 10 presentations in two days and five families bought and you helped in protecting their homes and their dreams. And you had one join your team. You hit your first promotion. You doubled your income for what you were making at the J-O-B. And then you're down again. You present to one family and on the way to the appointment, you just knew they are going to want your product and they said no and they refuse to even complete an application. And now you're up again. You go to your next appointment and they say, I wish I had this two years ago. Where have you been? I can't thank you enough for taking the time to come to my home and help us understand what's out there and what our options are. I'm gonna tell everybody. I sent that letter in two years ago and I was wondering what happened to you guys. I was hoping that someone sooner or later would call me because we've been wanting to get this in place. And then you're down again. You set eight appointments for Monday, and when you wake up, three messages on your phone of people wanting to cancel. And now you're up again. The phone rings, and the families that said no three days ago have reconsidered and want you to come back over and do the applications. And they want you to help their kids get the same protection. And then the next day, you're down again. You hired three of your sharpest friends to work on your team and two just quit and now they're talking negative about you and saying that business is a scam and you can't make no money. And now you're up again. The other sharp friend is now earning more in a week part time than he makes in a month full time at his job. He has decided to go full time. You're having a blast working together and he is glad he did not quit like his other two loser friends. <laughs> Look, all top producers have learned to master their emotions by committing to the right daily habits no matter what. You're going to learn to master, as I have, yours too, if you do not quit. Key success principle, err on the side of self-discipline in your first 21 days. Worry about balance later. You are laying a foundation to your future. It will pay off. Here's a key success principle. The greatest gap in life is the one between I should and I did. 
Winning is a habit. Unfortunately, so is losing. You and I have to commit and press through your first 21 days and make the decision to never, ever be average and ordinary again. As you watch this video, I ask you, will you make that commitment and promise to yourself today? There's an old saying, I love it, it goes like this. If you keep doing the things you've always done, you will continue to live the same life that you've always lived. So we have to ask ourselves what we'll need to face head on about ourselves and change to get different results. Look, if successful people form the habits of doing the things that failures don't want to do or are not willing to do, we have to ask ourselves, what are those things that failures don't want to do? And here's a clue. They are the same things successful people don't want to do also, but successful people do them anyway. You and I need to realize from the start that if only a minority of people become successful and those people choose to do the things that they don't want to do, then doing the things that you like and are comfortable with or allowing yourself to be guided by your natural preferences will not create real lasting success ever. You and I have to ask ourselves, if successful people don't like doing these income producing activities, then why do they do them? It's simple because the only way to accomplish the things they want to accomplish in life is to do them, right? Here's another key success principle. A successful person is motivated by the desire for pleasing results. Failures are motivated by the desire for pleasing results. Here's another key success principle. A successful person is motivated by the desire for pleasing results. Failures are motivated by the desire for pleasing methods. How do successful people continue to stay focused, laser sharp on their goals, and motivated to do the things that the failures won't do? Here's the reason. They have a deep-rooted purpose that's strong enough to drive them to form the habit of doing the things they don't like to do. Let me share this with you. You and I had to be strong enough long enough to do the activities to get the results you're looking for. So many quit three feet from goal because they lack faith that doing the activities will get them the results and move their life to the place they want to be. Successful people understand they had to do things in order to accomplish their purpose. So they don't ask themselves, do I want to do this? they just go do it. Here's some examples. Saying that I want a new car or I had to provide for my family are not strong enough purposes. Here's how you know if you do not have a strong enough purpose. Ask yourself, am I willing to do the things that I don't like to do in order to accomplish my purpose? Here's another key success principle I'll share with you. The strength that holds you to your purpose is not your own strength, but the strength of the purpose itself. For us to reach our goals, our dreams, and to accomplish our purpose, we must deliberately choose to form the habits or we will unconsciously continue to live with the wrong habits. Any goal or desire isn't worth a thing unless we form the habits of doing the things that are necessary to reach our desired end result. In other words, what you and I do today we must do the next day, the next day, and the next. Missing one day sets us in the direction towards a being, stop, sets us in the directions, stop, sets you and I on the direction towards living a life of being average. And we already acknowledge that you and I no longer want to be average and ordinary. We must continue to do the IPAs. I tell this to myself all the time. This course is me refreshing my memory and getting back on track, which is keep doing the income producing activities every day, day in, day out, no matter how well you feel or how well I feel or what happens to us in the course of the day. And one day you and I will wake up a different person in a new world. And you and I will sit back one day and wonder how we ever lived our life of average. So let's finish up this fantastic segment of success habits that work. 
for mortgage protection agents, final expense agents, and really everyone that participates in growing themselves and their careers. Let's talk about 10 passionate purposes that will drive our habits. Here's a key success principle to commit. You and I will never succeed beyond the purpose to which we are willing to form the habits of doing what failures don't want to do. Here are some things to remember and take away from this section from what Darcy's trying to teach us. Number one, purposes are not logical. For example, pay my rent, fix my roof, keep my car from being repossessed. Purposes must be sentimental and emotional, such as growing as a leader, be my own boss, never miss my kids' events, travel more, give to my community, give to a charity, give to my church. Those things are sentimental and emotional purposes that will drive you and I. Number two, logic is based on need, while emotions are based on wants and desires. Number three, needs will push you and I only so far, right? But our wants and desires will keep us pushing until they are satisfied, right? Number four, no one works for a company because they love selling. They do it because they love who they become in the process. And especially in our industry, the reward of helping people. What we do in mortgage section, final expense matters. So think in terms of emotional purposes when you answer the sentence, I want to succeed in this business because. As we finish up this segment, remember a good emotional purpose goes a long way towards keeping you going when everything else you are motivated by isn't working. Remember a good emotional purpose goes a long way toward keeping you and I going when everything else we're motivated by isn't working. Powerful statement. Take your phone out, grab a screenshot of this, post it everywhere because this is a big challenge. We've got to be strong enough, long enough to keep doing the activities until the results become evident. And it may take a month, it may take 90 days, it could take six, it could take six years. That's why the purposes had to be emotional and big enough to drive you and I to keep going no matter what. So now grab your 21 day checkup handout. It looks something like this one, has the, uh, the brick wall and the stones on it. Key success principle to learn here is, in order for you and I to design our lives, we must also design our habits. Very important for you and I to understand is this, our foundation of success is built on our daily habits. It's like laying a foundation of a house, one brick, one habit at a time. Bad habits create weak foundations. Good habits create strong foundations. Here's another key success principle. We have to put our self-esteem into our work habits and not our production or our perfection. We have to be willing to get going because we will get better. Ignorance on fire is better than knowledge on ice. We have to be willing to take imperfect actions now rather than waiting to take a perfect action sometime in the future. Remember, the habits that you and I do every day will change our success levels. The things that got us to where we are today will not get us to where we want to be tomorrow. Take a look at the examples at the bottom of the sheet and you can see how as you develop better habits, become more disciplined, your income rises because you and I are not just going through the motions, we're growing ourselves. You'll notice below that there's different habits between each success level. And the reason is, is because you and I are growing by practicing and putting into action new habits that will grow us as individuals. And as we grow as individuals, as does our income grow. So time for some homework as we have every week. Hopefully you've downloaded your handouts. If not, go do it now. So you have those in front of you. You can take full advantage of the course, right? Get the handouts, go to a quiet place, complete them as we do every single week before you move to the next video and take on the next success habit. When we get together again in the next video, we're going to be covering whatsoever a man or woman thinks they are as we continue to success principle number four. Great stuff. I love this video. I love this segment. See you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, mash the bell, like the video if you got something from it. And always, I enjoy the comments that you want to post. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.